Hey, YouTubers and RV fans, it's great to have you back. Let's talk a little bit about some of my van upgrades. I've done some uh, upgrades to the van since I've owned it, and as you all know, I had a water leak, and let's get into that as well. All right, guys, so it's been a little while since I put up a video, but a lot of that's been because I haven't been traveling. And as most of you know, when I was in Tawas City, um, Michigan, I ended up having a water leak that needed to be repaired. I found a wonderful repair shop local to me, um, and I'll name them in a little bit, but um, they did a great job in um, fixing my water leak. And so now I'm getting prepared to hit the road. But in order to do that, I wanted to do some upgrades and get some things in line so that when I'm on the road, it makes my work life easier and it makes my living more comfortable. So let's get into some of the upgrades. Okay, one of the first upgrades is this under the counter shelving. Man, this is a game changer. It's really wonderful because you can go ahead and put all kinds of stuff in there. And what I put in here is I put in my iPad or any kind of other gadgets or equipment that I have. It fastens up underneath uh, with adhesive and with some screws. But boy, this is a nice little, little feature. All it does to close it is just lift it up, snap it into place, and there you go. Okay, the next upgrade I've got is this great little mounting stand for my iPad. This thing works really, really good. And it's great, especially if I'm working and I need to stay connected. Um, my iPad is not GPS equipped, so um, I can't use this for my CarPlay. But that's okay because I have a mounting right here for my phone. And that works really well because then I can go ahead and put my CarPlay in there and have all my navigation. Now, if I want to upgrade my iPad, I can do that. Or I can uh, purchase um, a, a Garmin. Uh, I think it's called a Garmin Go, which gives me GPS navigation on the iPad. But for right now, this is a really neat little um, mounting option for the van. All right, as you can see, here is all the gear loaded. I've got my iPhone here and the iPad here. And really, it's a great setup for when I'm driving. Everything's right at your fingertips, really easy to see. You're not too, away from, too far away from looking at the road. And as you can see here, this is a really nice um, tablet holder. So the, uh, let's see, I, I guess I'll go ahead and put a link um, for my Amazon store in the description so that you can, if you have an interest in this, uh, in this mount, you can certainly get one. But yeah, this is the perfect setup. All right, so I want to show you the front here. Now, however, the one thing I wanted to do was something that was a little quicker um, in terms of, uh, you know, sealing off the, uh, the, the van area. And so what I did is I purchased some blackout curtains. Now, these blackout curtains work wonderfully. And in fact, I'm going to pull these closed. And what I discovered, especially now that it's getting a little bit colder here in, um, in Tennessee, is that the blackout curtains really do a nice job in retaining the temperature in the bed or the living area of the van. Here's what they look like fully deployed. And uh, they work so well, and it just makes it a little bit easier, especially if you're you know, pulled over at a Walmart and you're spending the night at a Walmart Cracker Barrel, you can just pull these blackout lines and you're good to go. All right, the next area that I want to share with you is the sofa. And of course, this converts out to a bed. Now, if you recall from my earlier videos when I did the van tour, I had a really small four inch foam covering here that had cushions up at the top that really were very uncomfortable and didn't fit when the bed was pulled out. Okay, so what I did is I went to, I think it's RV, um, a mattress, RV Mattress Insiders, and I reached out to them um, to purchase a mattress that was actually a split mattress. When I talk about a split mattress, what I actually mean is that the base here is 28 inches, and then the cushion back here is 12 inches. So you end up with a total of 40 inches when the bed is extended out. So uh, let me show you how that looks. All right, here you go. So when the bed's extended out, it's actually a fairly good size, as you can see. 
and it's seamless here with the separation because you remember you got the cushion that goes up you can see a little indentation here but it's nice and tight against the wall and it's also tight against the bed frame so and this folks is a game changer i gotta tell you this is a wonderful mattress and the folks at um, rv mattress insider were so helpful this was actually um, from the point that i ordered it i received it within maybe a week and a half two weeks if that but uh they're hard to get a hold of because they're awful busy and this is not a sponsored video trust me um i bought this all by myself but this is a game changer in terms of how you live comfortably in a van now let me put it back together here and i'll show you how this happens all right so in order to bring this back together what i need to do is to pull the cushion up here and then this cushion comes up and i'll show you a little bit you can see what it looks like here and how thick it is nice and thick and then just bring it up like this and it's so easy to do and then all i do is slide the frame back when the bed's frame is slid back then i just push everything into place do a little bit of tucking And now we've got a nice place to just sit. And I can work from this pretty easily. So it's a very nice addition to the van. And of course you see behind me, the wonderful quality build for my Thor scope, where my blinds are now falling off the living room window. Such as, such as van life, I guess, right? All right, so I've got a lot to talk about in this video, uh, what I've been doing since I've been back from Tower City. The majority of what has been happening has been trying to secure uh, repair on the water system. I found a great repair shop here local to me. Their name is Above and Beyond, and um, Mel Troyer is the owner of that uh, RV shop. And man, those folks are wonderful. You know, from the reception to scheduling the appointment to coming into the shop, uh, meeting Mel, meeting Rachel, meeting Emma, um, who are the front desk folks. They make you feel like you're a part of their family. So a uh, special shout out to Mel. Thank you so much for the work that you guys did. The repair is working beautifully, and I really appreciate it. In addition to this, then, I also spoke with Avante uh, from Brighter Products up in South Bend, Indiana. Now, uh, Avante is the president and CEO of Brighter Products, and um, they do solar installs now i have a full solar system in my um a full solar system i have a solar powered system both 12 volt and an inverter uh in my uh coach in my van so um we were talking with avante about maybe upgrading to a larger solar panel outside and then upgrading the battery banks with uh, a brighter battery which is a lithium all right so moving on uh, I did recently take a trip um, to Loyston Point, which is in East Tennessee. Uh, it's just a little bit north, I believe, um, from uh, Knoxville, uh, in and around Clinton, Tennessee. Uh, my nephew uh, got married up there at Loyston Point, and man, what a beautiful place this is. A special shout out to Andrew and Megan on their nuptials. Congratulations, guys. You're a beautiful bride and groom. While I was at the wedding, I got to connect with a lot of family members uh, that I hadn't seen in quite a while. And if you all remember from watching my channel, Mama Wags traveled with me for a while when I owned the Class C. Uh, so it was wonderful to reconnect with Mama Wags. It was wonderful to reconnect with um, a couple of my brothers and my sister and her daughter and uh, so many wonderful people that attended this, uh, this wedding uh, up here at this beautiful venue. Um, had a interesting drive home from that venue i left at about eight o'clock in the morning and it was dense dense fog and so uh i navigated through the fog but i gotta tell you something the van did beautiful um you know from you know getting up that mountain which was pretty steep to um you know getting down the mountain uh in the in the dense fog and then of course reaching 40. 
uh, I 40 to get back home. So, but it was a wonderful trip. It was great to get to meet, get to see everybody and get to meet some of, um, some new folks that are joining our family. One thing I did forget to mention was that Mike and Dawn from, uh, Random Bits RV, uh, came to visit for two weeks uh, on their way back down from Michigan and uh, on their way over to Texas. So it was wonderful to reconnect with Mike and Dawn again and um, have some fun with them. It's always a pleasure uh, when Mike and Dawn come to visit and hang out here in Tennessee with me uh, at my home base. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and close out this video, but I wanna thank everybody uh, for tuning in today and for watching the video. Um, it's been um, a long time, but rest assured, that we're gonna to continue to put videos up on this channel. And once I get to getting back on the road, which will be soon, you'll see a lot more content. Just wanna say thank you to all my new subscribers uh, and to the subscribers that have been with me from the very beginning. And those that have joined all the way through, it's great to have you on the channel with me. Make sure that if you are a new subscriber that you check out My RV Life Story, both one and two, um, to get a little bit of a background about who I am and all of my different travel adventures over the last nine years. 2025 will represent 10 years uh, on this YouTube channel. So I can't believe it's been 10 years. It's like, where did that time go? Anyway, I also want to extend a very happy Thanksgiving to everyone. And uh, I'll look forward to seeing you once I'm back on the road.